Hello traders, welcome to the Forex Boat Trade Setups. In this video, we will be analyzing live the Euro versus Japanese Yen currency pair. And of course, we will try to find an opportunity whether to buy or sell. And just to let you know that all these setups are going live to our premium signals group and are traded on our real account. But before we get started, don't forget to click the subscribe button to follow all the trade setups that we are posting every single week. In this case, you will not miss any updates and you will follow how we trade our real account and what kind of signals are going to our members. Let's get started with the daily time frame on the euro versus Japanese yen. First off, what I'm looking for is moving averages, of course, always. I see that the price is below 50 simple and exponential moving averages because here was the rejection of one of the moving averages. So price is in between of 50 simple exponential and 200 simple and exponential. So what I do like here is that price did break below one of the moving averages, which is exponential. As you can see, let's zoom the chart. And right there was the rejection of the 50 simple moving average. So there was the rejection, but there was the breakout. This means that the selling pressure could be there. Now, if we look at this resistance area that has been formed, well, here was the support, as you can see, and now it became the resistance. So this area support, support, resistance, resistance, yet again, resistance. Let's just have a look at the higher time frame. Here, we are actually below both moving averages 200 period and the price here broke also below the 50 moving average and this is a bearish setup if we look at the big picture so on daily time frame we are looking for the potential correction or even a downtrend continuation it's not clear at the moment let's have a look at the simple trend lines what we will get from there okay one trend line we can use multiple trend lines and connect multiple dots it's uh, there is no right or wrong way but we can use whatever we want so here we can see is the rejection of the exponential moving average to 50 period and i have applied the trend line through this line so this is the highest high we failed to close above so i use this point but we can use different points for example we can do even like that so adding these multiple trend lines will give some clues what is happening so right there, we had only the rejection of this trend line and the other trend lines were broken to the upside. But we all see that the resistance is holding and one of the trend lines is holding. So we cannot say for sure that this is an uptrend. Now let's remove the unnecessary trend lines. So now we will start with applying Fibonacci retracement levels. Yet again, there is no right or wrong way how you use it. but generally speaking you should be using waves each wave or a big moves it uh, it just works like that so i'm gonna use multiple fips for example i'm gonna place fips to this last move to the downside then we just you we can put a lot of them and see where fips correspond to each other which gives us some good clues as to the price action especially it's better to use where you see these rejections of the moving averages. These are the very important levels. So I will definitely apply FIPS to this correction down and to this overall move to the upside. Well, we already have straight away one important level where two FIPS meet each other. I'm going to apply even more and then we'll remove what we don't need. So we have multiple FIPS at this support, which is 120.94 and this is something seems like very interesting move okay here was not a clean one so i'm gonna adjust it we need to make sure that all these fibs are extremely clean so you add them correctly right now yeah i have moved this and we don't have any clean fibs what i like to see is some of the levels corresponding to this fibonacci indicator we have multiple levels and i want to see okay we, i think we have it yeah we have it so right there i can mark this line so now i'm going to remove this and this fips so right now we have two fips 50 percent retracement and 88.6 let me just clean it up as you can see we have these two fips 
at this level, which is 121.91. So 50% retracement and 88.6 FIPS. So this is an important support level and perhaps price will be aiming towards this support, but only of course, as long as this high holds. So let's mark this resistance. The highest point, I mean, we need to mark the highest point. The resistance area is right there. It also, look, if we extended this area, we can see that previously it acted resistance, support, support, resistance, resistance, resistance. Clearly, extremely strong supply zone here, which has been rejected. Moving averages are in favor of the downside move. Let's now apply some trend lines. Probably I will start with the average price a trend line. Well, we had here the resistance and here we had the support. Yet again, we always want to use levels where we see the rejection of one of the moving averages. And I will be using it yet again. So resistance and applying it here is the support. We had the break below the average price trend line. Yet again, a bearish signal in my opinion. So low lows on the daily time frame and the lower highs. Clearly trend is getting bearish and there is no rejection of the moving averages to prove there is a support. Maybe it will reject this moving average. So if we extend it and it will gonna be rising, we might see something like that. So this could be the case. This could be the move that price will be making. Now, if we look at the MACD or and RCI, there was a huge bearish divergence, MACD divergence and RCI also had a divergence, which means that while the price producing new higher high, RCI and MACD failing to do the same, they are actually producing a lower high and we can see this clearly. So let's move maybe to one hour chart just to see what happens and yet again, we can use some trend lines. If we apply this big trend line, the price didn't test the trend line. So yeah, there is a potential to move towards the first support, but maybe it will continue going down. So all now I see that there is no rejection on the low time frames on one hour chart, no rejection of the moving averages. In fact, we are having the rejection here, which has been broken. So 50 moving average now acting as the resistance. Let's see on the forward time frame, whether there are some bounces. Yet again, no bounces. And the, and here, right there, you see 123.55, there is a huge support zone. Of course, it could be, there could be the bounce of this support, but nonetheless, there could be a breakout as well. Current price action does favors the downtrend because there is simply no support found for the Euro Japanese Yen. So the opportunity is obviously for the downside move. And I think I will be going with the trade with the sell trade for the Euro Japanese Yen. So let's open the trade, place the sell with the smallest slot, Euro Japanese Yen sell. We have it opened. Now, in regards to the stop loss, of course, of course, it must be above this level, which is 125.14. But we need also to consider the spread and all in all, we can place the stop loss at 125.20. Let's do that. We have our stop loss. Now, we need to see what will be the risk reward with the current trade setup. So here we have in a risk of 110 pips. And if we extend it down, we have the potential profit of 214 pips. The risk to reward ratio is two. We need this kind of risk to reward ratio. So this is perfect in terms of the risk reward. And I think the opportunity is there. So why not just add the final touch, which is the take profit? I will place it at 12196 just to add the spread to this, maybe price will not touch it exactly. So just slightly above 125.96 will be my take profit. Let's adjust it. So as you can see, the trade is there. And I would like to emphasize that all these trades are going live to our premium signals group. Of course, we will get back to this one. Once there is some price action, I will update you. But all in all, looks bearish and we will continue watching. So we will continue, of course, in just several days because this is a daily chart.
Okay, so we're back to the euro versus Japanese yen price action. And what we can see is the rejection of the support. And this is what I don't like to see. I don't like to see this sort of rejections. And I don't like to see where price breaking above the downtrend trend line as well as two moving averages, which is 50 simple and 50 exponential. We can see there was this rejection and there was rejection of the support and there was the rejection of the moving average. This means that the price will either consolidate for the time being or there is a potential to move up. In order to confirm further downtrend, I would certainly need to see the break below this support because if we move to the daily time frame, we can clearly see that this is previous level of resistance. Now it is acting as the support which has been rejected pretty cleanly. And for this reason, I think it would be reasonable to fix the profit right now. We have entered the trade at 124.05, now it's 123.08. So closing the trade means that there will be a profit of 97 pips. So just close the trade and you can see here was our entry for the short and here was our take profit. All in all, this has resulted in 95 pip profit, which took us just over one week, basically eight days, which is six trading days. So six trading days, we captured this trend. And you can see the, the entry wasn't perfect. Price was going against us. There was a two attempts to go higher, although it's still quite a nice entry overall, considering that we were aiming for 200 pip profit. Nonetheless, it's better to secure the trade. It's better to exit if you see some signs of potential reversal. And even on the hourly chart, we can see higher highs and higher lows are being produced. Although this could be an ABC correction while the price will continue going down. But we don't care because the fact is there was the rejection of the previous level of resistance. And as you can see, it's not always that we can get these perfect trades where price is hitting the take profit level. Sometimes you must act accordingly. You must take action based on the price, what it gives you and what it tells you. Price now might go towards our support, but you know, we just need to react disregarding what will be coming up next. And guys, these trade setups are not just trade setups. We're sharing them to our premium Telegram channel where we are giving signals to our subscribers. And if you want to join them, you can find the link down in the description of this video. And if you like this trade setup, don't forget to put the like and of course, of course, subscribe to our channel because we will be sharing a lot of trade examples and all of them will be going to our premium signals telegram group and our members getting them live as they come. So thank you all for watching and till next trade example.